Welcome to another glorious day and to another city management update. My name is Larissa Sloan, and as always, with me is Scott Morris. Merry Christmas, Enid. It's going to be a great week. Uh, starting it off, killer weather out there. It's beautiful out there today. It's kind of cold. But the sun is shining, mm -hmm. and uh, we're, get, we're getting things done this week at City of Enid. We don't, uh, we don't ever quit. We keep on going. And that's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to keep striving forward. That's right. Um, so the library has some really cool things going on. Um, they have their craft in, and I understand this is going to be an exciting event for them. It's on December 21st, and so what it's geared for is it's geared for those of you that maybe have some holiday projects that you need to wrap up, getting done and in a peaceful kind of atmosphere where you can focus and, um, and things like that. And they're going to have holiday music going and they're going to offer um, beverages and um, some snacks and things like that. They also will have a free wrapping station. So if you need to bring those secret presents for your children they don't need to know about, then they're gonna have that as well, everything equipped with what you could possibly need, and so they have that. And so then they also have, when the hustle and bustle is all over, and you need to decompress from the stress of the holidays, this, their health and wellness class would be a wonderful thing to take advantage of. I know we've spoken about it in, a pa in weeks past, um, and so that's, that's a perfect opportunity to come and take some time for yourself, bring a friend, and things like that. They offer two different kinds of classes. Um, one is kind of like easy yoga, and then the other one is Tai Chi. Tai Chi is aimed for those who may not be able to get on the ground. It's probably going to be more in a chair. Um, so the easy yoga for everyone is going to be on Mondays um, at 5.15 in the evening at the library and then the Tai Chi is going to be on Thursdays at 10 a.m. and this is at the library and so you can get more information on that going to their website which is ena.okpls.org and the fun thing is is that this program is going to be ongoing through February of next year and so that is something to um, get excited about. And so you can also see some of their other events that they have going on that maybe we haven't highlighted or anything like that. You can see that as well on their, um, on their website. And so then we have Holidays on Ice. And so this is exciting. I plan on going down there at some point um, when it's just the right temperature. It's not 35 degrees below my freezing point. <laughs> I hate being cold. but. I think I'm going to try to take Angie down there tomorrow night, hopefully. So we'll, yeah. we'll go try it out. That's fun. And so you can, um, if you're interested in what their hours might be, then you can go to their skateinenid.com website or you can follow them on Facebook at Skate in Enid. And then um, I think that's through January 2nd. I could be wrong. Check on there and then that'll confirm that information. And so um, we have, so with the holidays coming, um, then we have our closings that are coming up. Did you want to tell us about that? Sure. You know, we, uh, we are going to celebrate Christmas this year, and uh, various departments are, are going to be closed through, through uh, all the way through the 1st, like our welfare. Uh, city offices um, were closed Thursday and Friday, and, and Saturday on Christmas Day will be closed. And then we'll be open the next week, all Monday through Thursday, and then closed again on Friday, December 31st and uh, the landfill is the one they're really only closed on Christmas Day and on New Year's Day and they've got uh, you know some different hours looks like on Christmas Eve they've got their holiday hours from 8 to 2 and uh, you can see there the library's closed all of those days and um, recycle centers closed all of those days golf course is open um, all the way through Friday this week 
So go out there, and if it's a nice day like it's supposed to be, we could have a 70-degree Christmas day. So get out there and enjoy this week and, and uh, go, go have a round of golf, have some fun. And on, our, on your trash schedules, if you're wondering, if you have a Friday trash day, those trash trucks will be go coming around on Friday. So don't forget to put your trash out. They will come collect that trash and get rid of it. And uh, that's what we're doing for Christmas. That's you know, good. as I was, since you're talking about trash and recycling, I had noticed last night when I was wrapping my presents that on the back of it, it said that you can recycle your wrapping paper. And I had never, that was a genius idea. Yeah. Because, I mean, paper is recyclable. Anyway. <laughs> we do have a recycling <laughs> drop-off center that has uh, always been available. Like you saw the, the uh, holiday hours for it. But if you have... Um, if you have plastics or cardboard or paper, mm -hmm. uh, aluminum or tin, different kinds of things like that, you can always stop in and drop that off at our recycle center. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do have some additional green cardboard dumpsters that are out and about in several locations. You can put any cardboard in, in any of those. Um, even if it's behind another business, if you see one of those big green ones, you can put your cardboard in those containers. But so. they also have um, cards that you can purchase Recycling carts, not just where you throw your trash, but you can throw recyclable materials away. That is true. There is a company out there that if you want to pay their monthly service, you can uh, you can have a uh, your own recycling cart, and they'll come by and pick that up from your house, and that way you don't have to go to a recycling center. But mm -hmm. that is not done through the city of Enid. There, there is another company that does a very good job with that, and I'm sure you can find their information online. Yeah. Um, so... We have had a situation happen. Yes, we have. So uh, about a, a week ago, a week from today, we had some cybersecurity uh, uh, intrusion into the city of Enid, and uh, we had a phishing attack that happened. Uh, so if you receive any emails that look suspicious from the city of, e from the city of Enid that are asking you to click on a link, um, please don't click on that link. Um, that's the way that they're trying to get into your computer is to get you to click on something. So think about it before you click on anything. Um, I, I even had some that were supposedly sent from me. And, you know, there were emails that didn't even really make sense. You know, me saying, hey, I couldn't review that document. You know, click on the link so that I can review it. You know, well, especially if you haven't sent me anything to review, <laughs> don't click on the links. Always think about it. So just be careful out there uh, in the community, not only from us, but uh, there's all kinds of attacks that are going on on a daily basis. Um, some big name uh, uh, companies uh, have been affected by this recently as well. So just it's just a uh, something to consider anytime you're on your computer to think about what you click on before you click it. Yep, so be careful. Well, that's all for the quality of issues, or quality of life, so we're going to jump into the road closures. And so we have spoken about Rodan Street, and so that should be almost, that should be near completion, hopefully, um, by the end of this month. And so that's when it's expected anyway. Yep, they've but, got a detour there going mm -hmm. through Rose Tree. Yep. and. That is one of the streets that last October with that really cold front that we had. We had the ice storm in October, and then it got really cold in February, and it just absolutely destroyed that street. So there, are, we did some temporary work on it, and now we're making the permanent fix. And so I know when we're done, even though it's a little minor inconvenience, um, everybody's going to be really happy about the new streets that are there. You won't have to worry about it for a while. That's right. That'll be really good. And then we have um, East Maple Avenue. And that is expected to also be finished up um, approximately this week or next. And so that was for um, construction. And then we also have Greenleaf Drive. And, um, and so that should be, that was for concrete repairs. And so that should be wrapped up within the next week or two. Um, and so I think that's, that was really quick for infrastructure. I love short, it. Short list. I'm sure short that's list. once we get to the beginning of the year, I'm sure we'll kick off a whole lot oh, more projects. Oh, yes. Yes. Yep. 
So we'll enjoy the short list right now. That's right. Um, so next we have the MAPC meeting, which is tonight. And um, yeah, this will probably be a very quick meeting, as a lot of these uh, planning uh, meetings tend to be. There's a looks like they're considering a, a lot split tonight, and uh, it ought to be very, very brief, quick meeting. But if you ever have um, development that you want to do in Enid that involves zoning or or splitting something or platting anything, uh, this is a meeting that you need to go to and submit your information uh, through Chris Bauer in our community development uh, office and. He'll get you set up to for a meeting with these guys. And that's at six. Yep, tonight at six. And then we also have the commission meeting. So this is the study session. So that's at five. Yeah, tomorrow night at five o'clock we'll have our last uh, public uh, city commission meeting of the year. And so we'll have our study session at five o'clock. We have two items that are on our study session uh, tomorrow. One of them we've been talking about kind of deregulating taxis and um, and uh, um, public conveyance vehicles within the city of Enid. So they'll be talking about that and discussing if they uh, want to repeal that whole ordinance or do an amendment on it to make it easier for people than it used to be. So that will be our first item. And our second item, we're going to continue to talk about um, permit fees for our code department when people come in and want to do a building project. We're trying to simplify our process um, to come in and get those permits and to start work and so we'll be doing another study session item on those permit fees and explaining um, what those fees really mean, how to calculate them with our current rate and uh, and what some of the reasons are for wanting to try to change our procedures on that so we'll be discussing that during study session and then at 630 we'll be going into our regular meeting and uh, that ought to be a fairly quick meeting. There are a lot of consent items. There are really only a few. There's a one admin item, and it's the same item in, a, in EMA, but it's about a $4 million loan. And it is for water projects that we will be doing. And already some of them have you know, plans to do. Some of them are already engineered and ready to go, shovel-ready plans. But uh, there's an opportunity that we don't want to miss out on where we can be forgiven 25% of this loan right off the top. And so the maximum loan is $4 million. And so 25% of that $4 million is $1 million. And so that's a million and free dollars that's uh, given to us through a grant. So you'll see that on tomorrow night's agenda. Uh, we'll, we'll probably finance that $3 million that's left over in, in a three to five year time frame, somewhere like that but we'll see the options tomorrow night and the mayor and commissioners can choose from. Um, but that's just a way to leverage some grants and get some additional infrastructure that is needed done in Enid. So we'll take that free million and we'll rock and roll. <laughs> so that's pretty much uh, it for the meeting. There's a, the regular claims lists and consent items that will be on there. Um, couple of the extras that you might see on there. There's a there's a tractor that our, we're buying to, uh, to mow some fields out in the west side of Enid with and uh, a tandem, a tandem uh, dump truck for our public works department. So a couple pieces of equipment and normal business. So. Well that sounds simple. Yeah. So Enid we have um, always spoken of C-Click Fix and so I wanted to bring a little bit more information to you. Um, I was able to um, I was able to realize or learn there's about 55 different issues um, that you can report with CClickFix. But let me tell you what CClickFix is first. CClickFix is an app that you can download on your phone that you can use to report issues or, or situations, things that need to be fixed throughout the community. And that's a way for you to be able to tell us what you're seeing to report that so that we can get that fixed with the right departments. Um, and there's a wide variety of issues that you can report. Um, these are a few of the issues that you can report. Potholes are a big deal. Potholes are, are very, um, really top of the, on the top of the list because there's how many streets in Enid? And so we are asking that you address those for us. And then also damage signs is another thing. 
Um, it can be any sign, really. And so then we have street lights. Sometimes there's issues with street lights. Sometimes they go out and, and things like that. And sometimes, you know, it's something that we may not be aware of. And then we also have stray animals. And then you can request a ride through our public transportation. And then sometimes there's water outages that, that we need to be made aware of. And so that is what C Click Fix is. And so if you need help with that, then feel free to reach out and someone will help you. You can also access that on our website, which is enid.org. Um, and then, and so there's that. And so we highly encourage you to take advantage of that tool so we can get it's, things done. It's an excellent app. Download it. It's easy to use. Um, you know, we like to joke, people say that there's two unavoidable things, death and taxes, and I, we like to joke, you know, maybe it's, maybe instead of death and taxes, it's death and potholes. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like they never go away, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Well, Merry Christmas, Enid. I don't know if you have anything else to say to the our only thing viewers. I, the only thing left I have to say is um, if you want to stay up to date um, with what the city of Enid is doing for you, then stay connected with our Roku and Fire TV as well as our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, C Click Fix. I mean, our social media platforms, we always try and keep them up to date and things of that nature. And so, other, but other than that, I just wish you a Merry Christmas and I hope you have a great new year. Me too. Merry Christmas, Enid.